tips and tutorials to increase your online presence. Websites, social media, online donations, applications, databases, and more. This is OrgSpring. Hey, this is Craig from OrgSpring, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you some new functionality from Cirrus Insights. This is the program or the application that links your Salesforce CRM with your uh, Google Apps account. It's something we've been talking about for a few years now. It is, in uh, my opinion, the best link between your Salesforce CRM and Google. Uh, it's just an amazing application. We've written about it several times. Uh, we've done other tutorials on it. You could look at orgspring.com, our blog, and find posts about it, and you can also find our posts and tutorials on our YouTube page that show you or introduce you to the functionality. But in this particular video, I'm going to show you the new functionality, which not only links Salesforce and your Google Apps, but in this case, it links your Salesforce contacts specifically to your Google contacts. So what you see here on screen, I'm just going to switch to a different tab here. This is my Google App uh, contacts account. So you see a uh, you know an entire list of your contacts here. I've got a couple thousand contacts. Now here's the problem with this. Google contacts is not a neat efficient way to organize your contacts. It's just not. Anytime somebody sends you an email from any email address, Google saves that and you can convert that from a temporary contact into a full contact. The only problem is Google's contact linking program is not very sophisticated. You might be linking it to Facebook, you might be linking it to your Twitter contacts or some other uh, mixed contact form, or you might have apps syncing back and forth, and none of that information, or maybe only some of that information is synced or correct. You might have different contact information for different people in different areas. But if you're like me, you use Salesforce to keep most of your up-to-date contact information in your system because you're using the CRM to track that contact information and interact with your contact contacts in a different way than just email. So for me, I have all of my permanent, all of my up-to-date information in Salesforce. That doesn't help me when I'm out for a couple of reasons. Number one, the Salesforce One app is horrible. Uh, it was an update from a previous version, which if you can imagine was even worse than the current one. So I don't use the Salesforce mobile app. Uh, I typically use, uh, I, I log in through a browser into Salesforce or I log into Google Contacts, which I try to keep up, up to date, but it's not great. That is until now. The Cirrus Contact Sync with between Salesforce and Google Contacts is fantastic, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. So we're here in Google Apps, and I'm, I'm looking at an email from Brendan Bruce, who's one of the creators and co-founders of the Cirrus app. And you'll see on the right side is the Cirrus panel. So I'm just going to click this to open it and close it so you can see what we have here. And I have a lot of custom information that I track, but this is just some general contact information from uh, this particular contact over at Cirrus. Now, what you can do is come down here into your settings. So it's the gear icon, and you'll notice that contact sync is now available. And this was not available before, but it is. So you'll see a whole different uh, bunch of settings here into your under your gear different account info, how the calendar syncs, contact sync, things like that. So we're going to click on contact sync. And uh, this is based on sync sets. So currently it's just a one-way sync. That means it's going to sync from Salesforce to Google. Uh, what that means is if you delete a sync, it's not going to mess with your Google contacts. It's not going to mess with your Salesforce contacts. A one-way sync also means that information you save in Google will not be pushed up to Salesforce. Currently, only information saved and edited in Salesforce makes its way back down to Google. So essentially what this is doing is it's taking your selected contacts inside of Salesforce and making them available inside Google. The information that you're going to see inside Google contacts is the information that you will see in Salesforce. So it takes all the Salesforce info and syncs it into Google. And this is great because it makes a consistent contact platform across your CRM and your Google apps, which you interact with uh, in terms of email and, and things like that. So it makes your contact information available in Salesforce uh, from Salesforce into your Google. Now, of course, this is good only if you keep your information up to date in Salesforce, uh, which again, I do, and I, I believe you should. It's the best place to track that kind of information, and now you could track it in Google with this update. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that. 
So over here under uh, contact sync, and again, just to, to review, we are in the gearbox area of Cirrus Insights tab, and we are in the contact sync area. And you'll notice here this big blue button, enable contact sync, you'll notice I haven't enabled it yet. And it'll say the primary ID. So this is the email address. This is your Google Apps email address that it's going to sync. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you how it does that in just a moment. Now, uh, Cirrus Insights contacts with Google uh, basically works off of a sync set. So what you're gonna do here, if you need help, you can click on this, but a sync set is basically, you're going to create a set of filters. And, and what this is gonna do is tap into your Salesforce account and it's gonna set a filter by which it's going to find contacts. And based on that filter, it's going to create a group inside Google Contacts where it's gonna store and sync those contacts. So uh, without really explaining that further, I'm just gonna show you how it works. So we're gonna create a new sync set here. And we're gonna name this sync set. For example, I want to pull all of the let's say the nonprofits that I have listed. So this is a, a custom link that I've created here in my contact side of Salesforce. I, I list uh, companies either as for profits or nonprofits. So I'm gonna call this the nonprofits sync set. And it's telling me it's gonna sync from Salesforce to Google. And I'm gonna come down here and click a field. Now this is a field inside of Salesforce. So you'll notice if I click on this, it shows me all the different contact fields that I have. And it'll also show me the different account fields. Now I can also search here in this box and I know what I wanna search on. It's a particular um, contact type. That's a custom field. You may not have that. You might wanna look on it. For example, if you wanted to uh, sync up a set of everyone named Bill, you would come here and you would type either first name or last name depending on what you're looking at. But uh, I'm going to sync based on contact type and I'm going to click equals, <clears throat> excuse me. So I want my contact type, whoops, I clicked off, sorry. I'm gonna reset this here. I'm syncing nonprofits under contact type equal to, as soon as I click in this box, it's gonna show me the options I have available. If you have options available for the field that you're syncing, they'll show up here as well. If not, if you're just clicking on something like name, then um, you're not gonna see that. You're just gonna be adding your name. So I'm gonna add here nonprofit because I wanna sync nonprofits. And then I'm going to click save. And now you'll see here that shows up there as a sync set. And then I'm going to enable contact sync and you're gonna notice this green box pops up, says preference saved. Now, if I click over to my contacts, you'll see here that that group has not yet been created. So once it actually saves and syncs, you will see that new group I created, it'll be called CI for Cirrus Insights along with the name ci nonprofits. So let's just refresh this page. So now you'll notice the CI nonprofits group shows up. Again, the CI is just the initial for the Cirrus Insights and then the name of the group that you put here. We'll click on that and you'll see all of your information or all of the contacts that are in that filter that you set up, that set group for the contact sync, and they're all here. Now, the beauty of this is if you're using a mobile device, you don't have to go and log into the Salesforce app. You can simply log into your Google Contacts and this will come up automatically. So you can have all of your email and more importantly, your phone number information so you can make quick phone calls uh, from your cell or if you're in the car. Um, so this is a great way to keep both of your Salesforce contacts in sync with your Google contacts. Uh, and also remember, it's just a one-way sync. So if you change them here in Google, they're not going to reflect in Salesforce. The idea is to change the contact information in Salesforce and have that relate back to Google contacts. Now, the beauty of Salesforce um, integration with Cirrus Insights is that your information is always here. So in the sidebar, you could very easily change any of the information related to uh, the particular contact. So uh, this is a great way to keep everything up to date. Now I'm back in the email side of things where it links up here with my uh, contact sync settings. And you'll notice down below 
the primary ID. You'll say the last sync was 39 minutes ago, the next sync in 21 minutes. So you can see that it is syncing every hour. So it's going to sync once an hour. It's a possibility that down the road, Cirrus will set that up so it syncs more often. Uh, you'll notice that once you do your initial sync, it syncs right away. And then after that, it syncs every hour. So uh, it's a pretty good time setting. And, and this is a great way uh, to get your contacts hooked up uh, and have it hooked up and synced on a regular basis. So um, if you have any questions, leave a message here on the YouTube uh, page or link over to orcspring.com where the associated blog post uh, accompanies this YouTube video. If you have any questions, send us a note. And remember, uh, we using the, the code that we give you, you could go on to uh, our blog page that will link you over to uh, the Cirrus app inside Orgspring where we give you a special code that gives you 50% off of the service as a nonprofit. Uh, we are not... Um, uh, we are not part of Cirrus Insights. That's not our company. We just have a partnership with them where they give a discount to registered nonprofits. We take care of making sure the nonprofits are in fact nonprofits through our form where you enter an EIN. And uh, if your EIN is validated, we do that directly through the IRS. Same thing the Foundation Center uses and GuideStar, things like that. Uh, you will receive a code via email uh, automatically. And then you could use that code to get 50% off. It's a way that Cirrus makes their application available at a discount to nonprofits. It's a really great application. We recommend it to everyone that uses both Google Apps and Salesforce. So any questions, drop us a note. We're happy to help. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.